Greetings and salutations, internet friends, and welcome to another episode of the First Time Film Club. My name is Emily, the titular first-timer. This is Matthew, my husband, Cinema Sherpa, and viewer submitted title, Hollywood Highlight Reel Handler. Yeah. That's a lot. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. (laughs) (laughs) That one was uh, submitted by It Dano. So thank you for that. It Dano? It Dano. Paul Dano? I don't know. Either It Dano or (laughs) IT Dano. Maybe it's IT Dano. Maybe he works in IT. Maybe he's a fan of It. Anyway. (laughs) Uh, For those of you new to the channel, uh, welcome. Uh, What we do here is, on this particular series anyways, is we are watching our way through a very long list of movies that typically I've never seen, but that Matthew has, i.e. he's my cinema sherpa. So that being said, Matthew, what are we watching today? Uh, Today we are watching the 1994 comedy, The Naked Gun, 33 and a Third. It's ridiculous. The title (laughs) got you already? Okay. As per usual, I only give you the title and genre, and uh, you go in with whatever you already know about it from pop culture references, wherever. You let everybody know what you know, then we watch it and we uh, talk about it, review it. So, what do you know about Naked Gun? 33 and a third. Um, okay. So, first off, this is the third installment of the Naked Gun series. We have watched Naked Gun. The first one and the second one. Leslie Nielsen, uh, Frank Drebin, Police Squad, all that good stuff. I don't know the premise, uh, but I'm certain it's going to be humorous shenanigans. Um, This kind of humor is sort of my bag. Uh, I assume it's going to follow the same formula as the other two. I hope so, or at least close enough. And I'm going to have a good time. That's all I know. That's all I need today. I think we're ready to watch the movie. One last thing uh, for new viewers or people who don't know, you will see me with my phone in my hand at some point during the movie. That's because I'm taking notes on things I want to discuss after the movie. So that's that. That's that. And this is this. And I'm going to put in a a transition there. It's going to be great. Do you know? Yeah. What's it from? Well, I know it from my podcast. Oh, jeez. When we do... It's on the list. We say... Yeah. Is that... We ripped that off from somewhere? Yes, you did. (laughs) (laughs) I'm sure the people on your podcast are just doing it as like an homage because it's from something. Do you want to watch that next? (laughs) Maybe so you can finally be in on the joke of this podcast you've been doing for the past... Two years. Okay, uh, let's watch a movie. I feel embarrassed. (laughs) Let's watch. Oh, Lord. Oh, Lord. (laughs) 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 Turdy three and a turd. Turdy three and a turd. Feel the rhythm, feel the rhyme. Get on up, it's bobsled time. I've seen that. There's one you know. Yeah. <laughs> it's another you know. Just like hitting a womp rat. <laughs> Lost her address. She moved twice, I God, couldn't keep so up. Don't lie to me, happening? Mr. Clayton. Uh, ah, that a boy. Do you know what the penalty for perjury is? Uh, uh, Have you tried sexy lingerie? Some lacy underwear, or a black teddy. I've tried wearing them all, they don't work. <laughs> Ow! <laughs> you remember back in the 1970s? The big disco shootout. Oh, yes, child! <laughs> a sperm count? <laughs> what? No! How are we doing? Oh, ah. <laughs> oh my god! No! Uh, I could use a little help. Oh! Rosenblatt, foreplay in 
room seven, please. Dr. Rosenblatt. Mom. <laughs> Soak in the tub for a couple of days. Possibly no, a week. Oh, you're so cute. <laughs> Silk face! I was only doing it a small favor. Some retirement. Whoa. I'm Whoa. Whoa. That's the most unrealistic thing in this whole movie. <laughs> that a woman could get changed. Can't, that can't, a woman can't get that change that fast. As what I know that. <laughs> we'll head up to my friend's cabin. Got by the smelting plant. Fresh air will do you good. Jane, go easy. That's your second bottle of Chanel. Chanel? Oh, God. You might end up dead is my middle name. Well, what about Jane? I don't know her middle name. <laughs> Home of some of the most violent sociopaths in the country, and the worst of them all, Rocco Dillon. Oh, oh. Lord! <laughs> Take it from me. This place here changes a man. Oh, yeah, in what way? I used to be white. Oh! <laughs> well! That was the day you became my wife. All our friends gathered to celebrate our love. It seems like only yesterday. We were all. <laughs> We were finally going to get that housekeeper you always wanted. Hi, Mr. D. Hey. Mr. D. hey. I knew that eventually our dream you know would come true. Yeah. One day, no. we'll our own little friend. <laughs> oh. Bend over and pick it up for me, would you, lover? No problem. Uh-uh. <laughs> 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 oh. What's this? Another letter from your oh. mommy? Oh! I was a drill instructor. <laughs> now that Tyrone was in solitary, it was just me and Rocco. He had no choice but to trust me and... Shh, hold on. <laughs> Are you? They're playing our song. <laughs> you killed him. It was an accident. We have to call the police. Jane, come to your senses. You killed a man. You're a hero to every woman in this country. Oh, Frank. <laughs> Frank is a man. He'll see you locked away for the rest of your life. <laughs> <laughs> Rocco's mom was quiet. I had a feeling she didn't care for me coming along. <laughs> Sneaking suspicion. <laughs> Should see a doctor immediately. That was way too long. Ah, uh, no such thing. And there's two sets of knees. Why don't you two kiss and make up? Huh? Oh, uh, all right. Uh-uh. Mm. <laughs> what are you doing? Could you? Well, you just shove your tongue as far down his throat as you can. <laughs> <laughs> what? <laughs> oh dear. <laughs> Very impressive. <laughs> cool. <laughs> Beavis. Okay. Yep. Thousands of fans are clamoring to get a glimpse of their favorite celebrities. And here are two of them. It's Weird Al Yankovic and Vanna White. <laughs> Films such as Sandals and Loincloth, 1958. Mm. Sweaty Boatman, 1959. Mm. The Leather Clad Centurion, 1960. Mm. And his first color feature, Big Shiny Spear. Mm. <laughs> <laughs> that ought to do it. You'll never get away what? with this. Rocco's gonna kill you, whoever you are. Whoa. Frank, isn't that a little unusual? <laughs> yeah, this happened to me a couple of times. <laughs> Is that radio work? Yeah, it says I'm not I'm shaving my money back. Call police squad. Tell them Frank grab his hand. I mean, we're busy. I'm not coming. I'm coming. I'm coming. Forget it. <laughs> Shit. I wonder what the devil he wants. <laughs> <laughs> Every time. Still no word of Frank or Rocco in his game. Frank, I'm getting worried. Oh, Lord. <laughs> 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 no, 
Mary Lou Retton for Fatal Affair. <laughs> I want to know, was that actually her or is that a stunt double? No, that's her. Oh, no! Oh my god, look at Donahue! It's my pleasure to present the... Oh! <gasps> what the hell? Oh! oh, oh. Go to commercial. <laughs> Read it, read it, read the card, moron. <laughs> yeah, you! It <laughs> is a special evening. Phew. I can barely catch my breath. Turn it Phew. over to Raquel. Raquel, I'm used to being out <laughs> working out to my video. What the hell is he doing? <laughs> <laughs> We've got to get there. But, Captain, we're, we're not invited. It's for you. Hello? Come on, we haven't got a moment Hello. to learn. All right, let's go. Hustle. Uh, uh, Hennison, see about this phone. I think it's broke. <laughs> Stupid. And for his tale of genetics gone haywire in a retirement community, Steven Spielberg, Geriatric Park. <laughs> <laughs> I'd watch it. The winner is... Uh, Raquel, uh, just a second. No, what? I just had a thought. Oh, Christ. <laughs> <laughs> Not one move. The barrel's cold. The barrel's cold! There's no... No, not oh. him again. Oh no! Please God. <laughs> Please God. Take it out. <laughs> she had to. <laughs> Stupid. <laughs> oh, 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 oh. Oh, oh no. <laughs> Officer Nordberg from Police Squad. We're here to prevent a disaster. Too late. <laughs> Too late. <laughs> now listen to me, Angel Drawers. Angel Drawers. Someone make a note. I don't think we should have Phil Donahue back <laughs> next year. <laughs> okay, everybody, don't panic. Stay with it. Camera two, move in on the old lady. Whoa! Oh. Move back to. <laughs> I'll do what you say. Frank. Just don't harm her. Frank, if you pull out the bomb, you'll kill me anyway. And everyone else in this theater. Yeah, no dice, Rocco. <laughs> All right. Any last words, sweetheart, before I throw you off this catwalk? Yes, don't do it. Anything else? <laughs> Frank! <laughs> I want the world to know you're the perfect man. Oh, Frank, I hope you can hear me. And they told me I couldn't do drama. Congratulations, Dad. It's a boy. <laughs> 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 Head makeout artist. Okay. There you go. Joey Buttafuoco. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> the cable installation between eight and five. <laughs> <laughs> Hello, Dolly Grip. Kung Fu Grip. Chi Ha Joe. <laughs> Too much makeup, Tammy Faye Baker. <laughs> <laughs> what? <laughs> the concealed weapons handler. <laughs> All right. So that was Naked Gun 33 and a third. <laughs> the the final installment. The final insult. Mm -hmm. Overall thoughts? Uh, Good time. This is a good, good, good time. Leslie Nielsen. Silly humor. Yes. Please and thank <laughs> you. I enjoy. I'm a dummy. It took me a second. Like, who that blonde chick? And then, like, the third time she popped up, it was like, <gasps> Anna Nicole. I see. Um, you my, finally recognized her? Like, my brain was like, she's not Pamela Anderson. She's <laughs> the other one. Um, Maybe I was more prone to recognize her because of certain magazines I saw. As a boy. <laughs> I may 
have perused a certain magazine well, or I, two. I believe one that, of those magazines popped up there at the end. Old uh, Pap Schmear. Pap Schmear was perusing yeah. it himself, so <laughs> may or may not. I can neither confirm nor deny, <laughs> but I will definitely confirm. That I, <laughs> well, I really enjoyed this. This is good stuff. It's not my favorite of the three. But I still thoroughly enjoyed it. Uh, I would agree. It's not my favorite of three. If I was ranking them, it would be in the order they came out in one, yeah. two, and three. Like this movie you enjoyed and everything, even though there were numerous parodies to other movies mm -hmm. that you didn't get. Mm -hmm. That's what I think maybe it comes down to is that you don't necessarily need to know what's being parodied or anything. The movie is still humorous and funny yeah. on its own. If the joke is funny, like, the reference is not required, you know. Because there's a... The opening scene is a parody of another movie that you haven't seen. Oh. It is on the list. I'm sure With the so babies? Yeah, I'm sure somebody's already typed it in the comments. With so many babies. Good uh, lord. Anyway, I think that's a strength. Or maybe that's something about the, the older, like, uh, comedy parodies that... Is that they don't rely on you having the references mm -hmm. to get the humor. Like, mm -hmm. it has funny parts on its own. With Frank's wife and her friend and their car, they're leaving. There's that's a movie. That's parodying another movie. Oh, I mean, like, all, stacking all the stuff? Well, just the two women. Thelma and Louise. Oh, no. See? I'm sorry. <laughs> but it's the, on the list. <laughs> You don't have to know those references to still find the movie funny. That's yeah, what I'm saying. Yeah, I concur. In the uh, prison fight scene, they hired actual uh, biker gang members. That seems to... dangerous. <laughs> yeah, because they hired uh, members. They got members from four different like rival gangs and didn't know about it. Die. No, luckily there were no uh, incidents okay. on set. Okay. So. So it's just Roof. a funny thing. They were like, let's, you know, we're going to make it authentic and get... No, don't do that. <laughs> don't do that. That's... So the the flashback scene... <laughs> to uh, Frank and Jane's wedding. Mm -hmm. That was the ending for the second Naked Gun. They didn't use it in that movie. So they inserted it in this one. Okay. And the scene where Frank and Jane come home and he has little Frank Jr. Uh-huh. Who looked kind of like Ross Perot. Just, <laughs> uh, that was going to be the ending to this movie, but they they didn't think the boy looked funny enough. Really? <laughs> I think that might have been so one of they, the top three, like, laughs that I had like it was the nose the nose caught me off guard did you have any uh, favorite scenes or favorite gags I just the whole like the pro the producer like in the booth like his <laughs> just his descent into despair and like with the every time Frank come back and I was like oh not this oh, guy no, again God, please no. dear God um, he was funny Sperm bank, that was fun. So, just overall, the use of sound effects, like nonsensical, out of place sound effects. Oh, yeah. I just love it. What about you? Did you have any favorite uh, gags or bits or scenes? One, I love the, the teleprompter gag where he just kept reading everything. <laughs> I think one of my favorite gags, I don't know why, it's another one of those things uh, that's just in the background. There's nothing. It, Nobody draws attention to it or anything, mm -hmm. but it's just there. It's the police squad door, like the door that comes into the office of the police squad mm -hmm. because it has police and squad on it, but both of them are written backwards when you're looking at it from both different sides. So if you're looking at it from this side, you can actually read the word police, but squad oh is backwards. God. And if oh you go to the other God. side, you can read squad, but police is backwards. <laughs> That, see, that's the kind of shit like that you notice after you watch, watch these it. movies. Like about the fifth or sixth time. Oh my god, there's always something. Just always. But yeah, something. I just imagine someone you know seeing the door like that and looking at both sides, being really confused, and that just makes me laugh. I loved all the bits with the uh, in the credits. 
Oh, yeah. The cable installation was one of my favorites <laughs> between 8 a.m. and 5 p.m. Because, you know, that's how that the cable company does. how they do. We'll give you a window. Mm -hmm. And then they still don't show it. <laughs> the other one <laughs> was they had one that said weapons handler. And then they had one that said concealed weapons handler. Leon Chalgos? Solgos? I'm not sure how to pronounce his name. It's a, it's a history joke, oh. kind of. Uh, Leon Chogos concealed a weapon inside like a, was it an arm bandage or arm sling? Anyway, he concealed a weapon and he assassinated President McKinley. So the concealed weapons handler, Leon oh. Chogos was, that's why I was laughing at that. Wow, you're such a nerd. Okay. <laughs> I love you. Did you what? know that beforehand? I think I saw you it. You see it on Drunk History? I think I saw it on an episode of Drunk History, maybe. <laughs> Well, no, I like that show mainly because I like I like history and uh, they tell stories in a funny way. But it also I like to I like to watch it mm -hmm. and then go research what mm -hmm. actually happened mm -hmm. to see what they left out or what they exaggerated. Yeah. Or basically, it piques my interest to go find out the the real the, the true story. Or... The, yeah, the more thorough story, yeah. not drunken tale. <laughs> that's uh, that's most of the notes I got. I guess we could rate it. Yeah. Um, as I said, I can't remember what our, I rated the other ones, but I'm going to give this one 7.9. Like, I had a good time. It was fun. It was all good jokes. Uh, you know, it just didn't make me you know, pee my pants laughing like the first one. Um, it's solid. It's solid. What about you, guy? I would give it a yeah, solid 7. Good. Solid. Funny. Rewatchable. I think we did good. I think we did good. We did a good job. We've done good work here. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> sure. Thank you guys so much for watching as we traverse this list together. Mm -hmm. um, if you do not mind, make sure to like the video. And if you don't already, subscribe to the channel. You want to stay up to date on all that good, good Summerlin shenanigans. Uh, so just do that and you'll be a better person for it. It's fine. Don't look into it. Um, <laughs> so if you've got nothing else left, I do not. I think we'll call it a day and we will see you all next time with another first time. Bye. <laughs>